What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Feraligator in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section of the video. And if you enjoy these videos, if they help you out, drop a like and let's get into it. So we're continuing with the starter Pokemon here. Um, so Feraligator is a very, very decent uh, physical sweeper. We've got the ability Sheer Force and Torrent. So most of the time you'll find yourself using a Sheer Force set because that uh, 1.3 times boost is uh, pretty powerful, um, even just without any uh, attack boost or anything like that. So this set is probably one of the better sets for singles that you'll probably be able to use. Um, it hits... Very, very hard, even after a single Dragon Dance. And that is probably the best coverage and power. Um, I've got a couple of variations of this set, so let's get started. So Life Orb and Sheer Force is great, uh, because with the Sheer Force there, it actually nullifies the Life Orb damage. So you've got basically the Sheer Force and the Life Orb stacking together, and it's going to be doing like tons of damage, right? Now it does have Dragon Dance, which is a great boosting move uh, for Alligator's uh, stats. It doesn't really have a great speed stat, so it's quite slow, I would say. And after a Dragon Dance, it's pretty fast, and obviously its attack stat is uh, you know pretty nice at 105 base. So we've got Dragon Dance. Uh, Liquidation is its strongest physical water type move at 85 uh, base, and you get the um, Sheer Force boost there because you've got the uh, you know, added effects of liquidation. Uh, same with Ice Punch being the most uh, powerful uh, ice move. It's great coverage for any grass types, dragon types, you know, such like that. And we've also got Crunch on there. Now, Crunches are more of a just optional move that you're putting on there. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really give you tons of coverage. It's more there because it's like a high base power move, a physical move that it learns, and it gets a boost from sheer force. Um, there are some other options if you want to consider them too, which I'll say in a sec. But uh, yeah, uh, so with the Terra here, you've got a few options. You can go Terra Water with Liquidation. You could do, you could also do something like Terra. If you were running Crunch, you could do Terra Dark too to boost up the uh, the power of um, of Crunch. That wouldn't be. That actually wouldn't be. Um, bad to get around i'm just thinking like other like pranks to pokemon like trying to um like burn you and stuff with will o wisp and things like that that could be interesting um to get around um another one you could do here as well um i i know you don't get a boost from it but earthquake is still a pretty decent choice of move it's still 100 base power so you could opt for that and then you could change the terror type to ground. Now I absolutely as you know if you watch a lot of my guides or my uh, my videos, I love terror ground on water pokemon because a lot of the time you get a one free turn of setup or just zero damage. So potentially you've got an electric pokemon Okay, uh, we'll tear a ground and we'll get a free drag and it's up with no damage whatsoever. Then you're in a position to sweep the opponent and put an enormous amount of pressure on them. Whereas, you know, compared to like the Terra Dark set, oh, well, I'm going to go Dragon Dance, but I'm still going to take some damage, right? So that's another way of doing it too. Both are pretty good. Um, Earthquake doesn't get Sheer Force boosted though, so that's just the only difference there. That's why I thought I'd mention uh, both of these. Um, with this set, you want to go Max Attack and Max Speed. You want to do Jolly Nature too. It needs Jolly Nature uh, for uh, that speed. It is quite a... Uh, it's not a very fast Pokemon, but after a Dragon Dance, it is pretty quick. And yeah, that, that's pretty much the moves I would do for uh, this. This is obviously a single set, but it, funnily enough, um, ob well, kind of obvious that for Alligator runs very similar in doubles too, um, because you know, Sheer Force Physical Attacker is uh, very good on it. So we'll get to uh, some doubles in a sec too. I like to cover all different formats and rules and you know, casual and lots of stuff like that. So that's pretty solid. Personally, for me, I like this set a little bit better than the Crunch one because I feel like Crunch doesn't really bring a lot to the table. It's not like you're getting that defensive chance of a defensive drop either. And I also like having uh, to be able to hit Electric-type Pokemon with Earthquake, which I think is quite good. And going Terra Ground, giving yourself a free Dragon Dance, um, I think is worth more than having Terra Dark. That's just my opinion, though. Um, you know, you know, we can use whatever you like. So the next option we got here, um, this is a completely different sort of set. It's by no means as potent as a sweeper as this, but I just wanted to mention anyway, uh, for Alligator does get Sword Dance, which is a very nice boosting move uh, for sure. Really, really nice. And you could, I mean, for argument's sake, you could run Sword Dance on this too. 
right? You could do you could do sword dance on that set. Now the problem with that is it is gonna get outsped. That's why Dragon Ant is like more optimal. But if you've got something like say a sticky web user on your team, then you're gonna be starting to outspeed like you know other faster Pokemon and stuff like that. So that's where it could come in really nice. If you just want that bang and damage with uh sword dance, like that'll that'll hit for like huge damage after a single sword dance. So just something to bear in mind there as well. But most people are going to pick Dragon Ants because, you know, it's nice to have that speed uh, that speed rise and the attack rise at the same time. But back to this one. It's a little bit of a different variant. We're not going to be using Sheer Force this time. So this one is a uh, Sword Dancing set. We've got Waterfall, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. Uh, I've given it just, you know, general coverage moves here. It's, it's kind of like, you could give it Liquidation too, but I'm, I'm sort of... Steer, trying to steer clear away from Sheer Force. I'm trying to show something different in this set. Um, it's more of like a flinching set. So we've got Max Attack and Max Speed Jolly Nature. Same kind of thing. Um, this time I've got Lumberry as the item and I went with Terra Ground this time. So that's another option you can go for there. Um, both sets are pretty good, but obviously this one is a lot better because you got that chance of uh, using speed, uh, speed boost and stuff. But this one hits very, very hard too and it's got a chance of uh, flinching, which can be you know, pretty powerful. Um, especially if you're running on a rain team, uh, um, that's where I would run for alligator. Or you can you can you can still use it outside of a rain team, but it's very very good on a, a rain team for sure. Another one I thought could be quite good as a um, as a terror. Let's put dragon dance back on this one. Another one I thought could work too. You could possibly have. I know it's not going to get a, a sheer force boost, but you could have crunch right. But you could have a def uh, you could have a defensive terror of ground. That's another way of doing it too. If you like having crunch on there, if you like getting that sheer force boost on all your attacking moves, um, ground gives you an option versus the electric type Pokemon. So it still gives you that chance to get um, the Dragon Dance up, and then you can go for crunch afterwards. That's another way of doing it. Or you could even have Terra Blast Electric. That could be kind of cool too. Um, Obviously, we're not having a sheer force boost there, but uh, the only thing I see with this set, it can be shut down with like bulky water Pokemon. So having something like Terra Blast Electric could be very, very like nice. Like say, um, let's say something like uh, Don Dozo, you know, uh, Suicune, you know, bulky water type Pokemon like Alola Mola, things like that. Uh, especially Don, like Don Dozo would be a top counter for this, by the way, with Unaware, but. Um, I, I digress. So, so but you got your Terra Blast. Uh, you could even have Terra. I'm thinking like, yeah, I, I feel like those are pretty good. I, I would go with that um, for like different Terras. But either go the Crunch route or the Earthquake route with Terra Dark or Terra Ground. I, I just like the Terra Ground one. It's all it works really well. And even when it's quite like, even when it's like quite a fairly obvious Terra to go for, it still works very, very well. Because that's the thing with Terra. You don't know when the opponent is actually going to use it. Um, a lot of the time. So, yeah, that's this uh, other physical option here. I, I would say this one's not quite not as good. Um, if you wanted, if you didn't want to gimmick so much, you could do liquidation on there too for more base power, whatever. That's the same sort of thing. But yeah, um, let's have a look at something in doubles and VGC. Now, it is running pretty similar. Um, I'll explain the differences and stuff like that. We'll do some teammates and other things uh, along those lines uh, too. So, Foot for Alligator in doubles or VGC play, I would run a similar set. The only difference is I would probably whack on Protect in there. So, the moves you're going to be using the most, I feel, are going to be Liquidation and Ice Punch. You're not really going to be using too many other things. Plus, you've got other teammates uh, or allies that can you know get around those other weaknesses too. So, I would have the D-Dance set, exactly like the singles one I was looking at there. And I would just put Protect on there instead because Protect is very, very handy. Um, now, there is an option. You, you, you don't have to have Protect on there. Um, if, if you don't want to, you could have like another, you could have something like Earthquake on there if you really wanted to. If you were, say you were pairing with a Levitating Pokemon or a Flying Pokemon, by all means, go for it. Um, there are a couple of items I would put on there. Probably, I'd probably have Life Orb on there. Life Orb is, Life Orb, is probably the best item off for Alligator Sheer Force. I mean, there's there's really, like, competitively speaking, there's no real better item. Um, another one you could have, I had it on there already, was Clear Amulet. I don't mind this. I've had the, I've used this a couple of times. 
there is a bit of a difference in base power or well, damage uh, you're going to be doing to the opponent. So with clear amulet, we're going to be um, preventing any uh, stat drop. So any intimidate Pokemon, parting shot, stuff like that. So that'll block you from all that... Um, all those are nuisances like that. And then you you know you can proceed to Dragon Dance and Sweep Seal. So it's a little bit more of a surprise item. I feel like Protect is quite good for or another one too. You could run on there. I'm just I'm just thinking like you've also got Covert Cloak. That's not bad either. And you you possibly, I'm not like you possibly could get rid of Protect on that. The reason I say that is because there could be stuff like fake out and things like that. If you've got like um you know, Covert Cloak and things like that, that could uh, definitely be helpful and maybe free up another slot. But then again, you know, Protect is still very good. There are a lot of other situations where you need it. So that's just something to think about there. Um, for, for moves, like, it, it depends. I would have something like, you could have Earthquake. I think you get Stomping as well. Yeah, it's, it, gets, it gets Stomping. Unfortunately, this doesn't get a boost by Sheer Force, which is... Kind of weird, but I, I, it's just how it works sometimes. Um, the Pokemon mechanics is things that d make sense and things that don't really make sense. Um, even though it has a secondary effect, it doesn't count. So you could have stomping if you a stomping tantrum if you want a singular target. If you want a multi-target, you could have earthquake on there. But I, I don't think you'll be using that very like often. Uh, you're going to be using liquidation and ice punch most of the time, right? So that's where I, I like protect on there. Another one you could have on there. This could be. I'm trying to think of some other stuff you could have on there. Um, I have seen... Like, Aqua Jet's not bad, too. I have to mention Aqua Jet. It's good for priority. So, if you don't want Protect, you could double up. We have Liquidation and Aqua Jet. If you know uh, there's a faster Pokemon or you just want to finish someone off really quick, they've got a low amount of health, Aqua Jet could be handy. I'd be... I wouldn't be inclined to run Aqua Jet over Liquidation, though. It's not that strong. So, yeah, um... Plus, you're not getting any sort of boost from uh, Sheer Force. So when you when you do an obviously when you do an attack that doesn't have a secondary effect uh, boosted by Sheer Force, you actually do life orb damage to yourself too. So just bear that one in mind. That'll give away your item and do damage. Not that having a life orb on a for alligator is, is much of a, uh, a surprise, right? But just thought I mentioned that. Um, another one I've got here. Let's check this one. Another one I've got, I noticed for Alligator Rock Slide, so I thought, ooh, we could try and do something different here. Now, obviously, the first one is a, a definitely a more optimal set. This is a bit more of a gimmicky set, but it might work on a particular team or situation. So, uh, got Jolly Nature, Max Attack and Max Speed, same sort of EVs as before. Now, I ran this one as, uh, as Torrent right now. The reason I did that is because I wanted some flinches. But if you want, like, sheer force boost and stuff like that, you can. But you're not going to get, like, the rock slide flinching, is which I'm, I'm sort of going for here. So we've got wide lens as the item. We've got rock slide and terror rock. So terror rock um, and dragon dance. So we could get a dragon dance up, and then we could proceed to go terror rock and spam rock slide. Um, with the wide lens, uh, that's almost never going to miss there, which is really, really good. So what's that, like 99% accuracy or something like that? And then we've got Liquidation and Ice Punch for coverage too. So that could be really cool. Uh, you could be uh, outspeeding everything and spamming Rock Slide. For, uh, if you want something a little bit, if you're not really caring about, if you just want like base power, you could put Sheer Force there and Life Orb too. But the only thing is you're not going to get like your little flinches here and there, which can be very game changing, but... That's another option if you want to run for Alligator, because uh, I did notice it does get Rock Slide. I, I don't think too many people would use Rock Slide, though. They're probably going to be going for Liquidation, Ice Punch, and, you know, just as normal uh, you know, stab moves and coverage moves. So that's what I would have for doubles. Now, let's talk about some uh, some counters. Like, as I did mention this before, like, Don Dozo is a brilliant counter for Alligator with Unaware, like... There's not a lot you can... You just can't do anything to it because uh, it's got to ignore all those Dragon Dance boosts. It's a water type already, so you're going to need to be scrounging for some damage, whether it's going to be from like a weak crunch or earthquake or... Yeah, it pretty much counters it every day of the week. So that's the best counter uh, to Feraligator, um, I would say. Another decent one also is Gastrodon with um, Storm Drain. That's a good one too because then you sort of... You have to go for ice ice punch against it, and you know that without a, a huge amount of dragon answers, this uh, is not going to faint. Plus, you know, you may have clear smog as well, for example. So, yeah, um, that's another good counter. I would say Don Dozo is number one. 
Um, let's talk about some teammates here. Obviously, you know, Pelopa. Pelopa's a very good one with Drizzle. Um, that uh, For a rain team, uh, for Alligator, it's going to be a monster in the rain after a Dragon Dance. It's going to be hitting s enormously hard with Sheer Force and Life Orb. But like... Yeah, you're going to be just, like, sweeping through people. Um, even, even like, Poco on the Resistor is still going to take, like, heavy, heavy damage. So that's a great partner. Um, yep, you've got uh, Polly as well, Politoed. Uh, that's another good one, too. Is there any any of those Poco on, um, depending on what rules you're playing? Uh, so Politoed's a good one. Um, Kyogre's another good one, too. Like I said, depending on what rules you're playing there. So any of those uh, Poco would be great. Um, a good partner for this could be Among Us, too. Among Us is such a good Pokemon. I actually don't think I've done an Among Us guide. I probably should do one of those. Um, Among Us is as good for, like, as a partner Pokemon. Um, and you can also <clears throat> use it for Rage Powder while you set up with for Alligator. I mean, you could say this for any sort of like ally with it. It's very, very good for that sort of stuff. Um, some other ones you could use. Let me think about that. Uh, well, I mean, I, I always mention this, but Fluttermane is just... <laughs> Vladimir is just such a good Pokemon on every team, so I, I, that definitely would work nicely with it. Um, there's also you could have Landorus too. I'm just thinking Landorus Theorem form might be good for like any of those electric type Pokemon. That could be that could be another option too. And you've also got Intimidate there, so you might allow for Alligator some setup and stuff like that. But there's a lot of other good partners. I'm thinking like Rillaboom, that could work too. Um, there's a ton of them, right? I'm not going to mention all of them, but that, that's uh, definitely a good bunch that you could uh, look for there. If you've got any other for Alligator sets, let me know. But pretty sure that's everything covered for um, what you want to use in singles, doubles, Casual, every sort of uh, one you want to do. Uh, next one I want to introduce. Uh, it's a bit of a fun set, but I did notice for Alligator actually got scale shots. So I thought, oh, let's try and do a, uh, a a set based around this. It could be fun. So I thought you could go Terra type Dragon with scale shot. So scale shot is um, a multi hitting move from two to five times. So with loaded dice, you're going to get four to five hits. So that's going to be a pretty powerful move. So you got 100 base power minimum, 125 base uh, max. And you've got Terra Dragon as well. So it's going to be hitting pretty hard after a Dragon Dance. Um, I've got... What have we got here? It's liquidation. And I've got Rock Slide as well. So you could uh, you could give that one a try if you wanted to. Just for like some more pow power hits. Uh, that could be uh, you know, pretty cool. Uh, if you don't want Rock Slide on there, you could... You could go for Ice Punch as well, I guess. Uh, I put Rock Slide on there because of Ice-type Pokemon. Because you've got Terra Dragon, so you're not going to be no longer be a water type, so you don't have to worry about grass as much. That's why I did that, if you were confused by that. Um, I've got Max Attack and Max Speed, Adamant Nature. So I went Adamant just due to Scale Shot and Dragon Ant, so we're trying to get as much damage as possible. But we don't have Life Orb, so we're going to make up for that a little bit. So that's another option that you could use with for Alligator. Of course, we always put a Pimp Knight Special in here. Let's have a look at this one. It's an absolute banger. Uh, <laughs> we got Special for Alligator. Now, this is a Potato Berry Torrent set. And I wanted to make use of trying to boost up our stats with Ancient Power. So Ancient Power has a thumping, thumping, 10% <laughs> chance of boosting up your stats by one. If you manage to get that Ancient Power boost and you manage to get the Potato boost, it actually is going to be hitting pretty hard. Um, and and you'll be in, you should, probably should be in Torrent range. You, you will be in Torrent range as well. So this Hydro Pup is going to be dropping like no tomorrow. We've also got Ice Beam as coverage, just general generalized coverage for grass stuff and stuff like that. And I gave this one Terra Electric because I thought there'd be a good way to hit um, opposing water type Pokemon because you don't really have a lot for that. Um, you could also have Terra Blast Ground as well. I love Terra Blast Ground on water types. It's so good. But yeah, that, that's another uh, another way of doing it too. This, this obviously is a very fun set if you're just you know, trying out different sort of sets and stuff like that. Um, that's what my channel is all about, trying out everything, not just the standard stuff. But yeah, uh, that's another way of, of doing it. with a the, the difficult part about this is you've got to get a Potato Berry boost at a quarter max health. Um, you could you could probably get that. You're gonna you're probably gonna get that more times than you get ancient power, but it's it's all based on luck, right? But if you manage to get this and then this, it's gonna be hitting pretty hard, and especially if there's rain up too and you got torrent, it's gonna be uh, dropping real hard. But there goes to some for alligator sets. Let's go over some final uh, thoughts on for alligator and uh, you know some of the other moves that I haven't covered.
like to cover everything. So let's have a look at the status moves. So, so um, it is worth noting, it does get curse as well. You might be able to do some sort of like super bulky set with like special defensive set. It doesn't have bad bolt. Like you could do something like, I'm just going to quickly, you could do like a, a, a rest curse set, a rest or resto chesto set. Um, we got that. So I, I, I love doing resto chesto sets as full health and special defense. I think it works the best um, because you've got like bulk on both sides while you're boosting it up. And for physical moves, I would have Avalanche and let's go power. I would have, yeah, you got Liquidation as well. You could, you could do that. You could do Liquidation or Torrent. Uh, you could do uh, liquid, uh, Liquidation. Yep. With our Shear Force, that could work too. So yeah. So this gives you, um, uh, you, you've got that option or if you just, yeah, you could just go for that and make it really bulky. That's another way of doing it. I don't think it's going to be that good, to be honest. Uh, I think there's better options than Curse for it, but it's got reasonable bulk to it. Like, it does have reasonable bulk. It's not, it's, it's by no means like a Pokemon that's easy to, super easy to one shot. Like, defense of 100 uh, base is pretty, pretty decent. And special defense isn't too bad either, but just another sort of like option that you could go for. That's definitely more of a single set. It would take way too long to set that up in doubles. Uh, we're going to Dragonette's Protect, uh, Raw, yeah, you might be able to have like that, I don't know, like a phasing set, like a bulky phasing set, that could be, it could be viable, but you know, there's going to be other Pokemon that'd be better, uh, get Sup as well, so you might be able to, I don't know, there's, you might be able to do like little things like this, oh, I don't really want Terra Blast, I'm just going to do Sub, you know, um, that way I can have a Sub Tutor up and just use those two moves, because they're still very, very powerful. That's an option if you want to as well. You just sort of uh, lose out on a little bit of coverage versus like a, 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 a water type Pokemon. Um, that would be, I don't know, like a, a real bulky one would probably wall you um, and things like that. But uh, depends how many boosts you got up, of course, too. Um, yeah, back to what I was talking about. So you got sub, and then we got some. Oh, it gets blocked. That's actually kind of interesting. And yeah, there's there's not too much else here. Um, it does get a helping hand for doubles. I don't know if you'd be able to make a defensive for Alligator, but I feel like that'd be just, you'd just be, I don't know, you'd be kind of a waste using that when it's got Sheer Force and Life Orb, but maybe if you want to make like a defensive for Alligator, like uh, Max Health, Max Defense with Helping Hand and some others like Helpful Moves might work. Uh, it gets Rain Dance, but there's no point in having that because you've probably got other Pokemon that can, uh, you know, set it up and things like that. Uh, let's have a look at its physical moves. So we've got Aqua Jet. Which is still a good move, don't get me wrong, but most of the time you're not going to be... That's only going to be good for like just finishing off Pokemon. So maybe if you want to have it on your uh, Sheer Force set as a filler move instead of Crunch, you could do that. Uh, Avalanche, you're not going to be using too much because of that negative priority, but maybe on that, something like that Curse set. Aquatail is good base power, but it's shaky actually and no Sheer Force. You won't be using that too much. Uh, you got Body Slam as well. That wouldn't be too bad. That's going to give you a decent base power. So if you want a high base power coverage move for Sheer Force, that could be okay. Uh, you got Brick Break. It does get Counter, which is pretty cool. Uh, Crunch Double Edge. Earthquake, we've gone over that. Uh, Flip Turn is something to be considered as well uh, for doubles. Uh, let me think about this. Yeah, maybe you could do something like Flip Turn too. But I don't really like running flip turn on Dragon Dance sets. Like it, it, it to, to me, it's sort of like it's it's, it's kind of it, it's kind of defeats the purpose. I like running them on like maybe like a choice set, uh, better or something with an ability like Intimidate. You know, it's going to benefit. So flip just swapping for the the, the heck of swapping isn't going to really benefit that for Alligator too much. So maybe I don't know. Maybe like a Life Orb set or a Life Orb Sheer Force flip turn or so. I, I don't know. Like I, I probably wouldn't run that. It's not that super good. Um, unless your team was based around that, that sort of thing. You know, you had strategies with a lot of other Intimidate Pokemon. Sure, it might work then. Um, Ice, Ice Fang is outclassed by Ice Punch. It does get Lash Out for doubles, I guess. Uh, Liquidation, obviously. Your bread and butter got uh, Rock Slide. We went over that. There's not too much else here. It does get Trailblaze if you want to boost your speed at all, but it's got Dragon Ant, so I don't think that's going to be really necessary too much. Uh, if you're going for something on a bulky set, you've got Breaking Swipe uh, on, in doubles. That could work. And yeah, we, we've gone over most of these other things here, more gimmicky things. But 
Yeah, that's its physical moves. Let's have a look at its special moves. I don't think you'll probably be using a special one, but if you are, here it is. <laughs> so we've got Ancient Power and Blizzard Chilling Water. Ooh. Uh, you might be able to put that Chilling Water on a bulky set. That could work. That could be really annoying um, uh, to, to, to face that. Um, and then you've got some other, a couple of other things as well. You might be able to run like a special one with Throat Spray with Snarl. Uh, that, could, that could work too. It actually gets whirlpools. So you, you could make a trapping set. I, I don't think it doesn't have anything to supplement that like toxic or something like that. So I don't see that being super handy. And yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's going to be pretty much it for for alligator. Um, my final thoughts on uh, for alligator. It's a uh, a nice, uh, definitely a nice dragon and sweeping set. And after it gets a couple of boosts up, it's going to be hitting very very hard, especially good on rain teams to give it that further boost on its liquidation and water moves and. A dangerous sweeper if given the uh, the chancey. So I hope you enjoyed it, people. Uh, I'll be back with another... You know what? Let's do... Well, I'm going to do this in, like, generations. So I've done Gen 1 already. We'll do Gen 2 today. So I'll do, like, um, Meganium next after this. I've already done Typhlosion, if you're wondering. All right, that's it, people. Drop a like if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful. Leave a comment if there's a Pokemon you'd like me to cover. Um, I, I do plan to do them all eventually, but I'm going to sort of do them on, like requests are like you know if a lot of people want a particular pokemon i'll do you know i'll do that first all right see you later everyone peace out